calling 2,436. At St. John's Bread and Life, feeding those in need is a numbers game. 70,000. That's the number of pounds of food that's been given out this week ahead of the Thanksgiving holiday. Yeah. Next. 3,000, the number of meals served every single day. That's been quadrupled during the pandemic. A lot of people who never expected to be on our lines are on our lines asking for help. And, you know, you see the fear in people's faces. You know, like, what do I do? You guys got enough stuff? For sister Caroline Tweedy, the executive director of St. John's Bread and Life, staying ahead of the numbers and the need is what makes the soup kitchen successful. Every bag that goes out to a person has 32 pounds of food. When it comes to the bread, they have it covered. But in recent months, the life part of their mission has been challenging. The one thing that really is missing for us is that sense of community. You know, people could come in and have a meal, go to a movie. We can't do any of that. The day before Thanksgiving, staff and volunteers, a team that's been severely cut down for social distancing, is working double time. I have social workers who are handing out food and case managers who are stuffing bags. Everybody is doing their part. They all have the same goal. Thank you. To help people like Rebecca Crowley. It's a blessing to make sure that my children don't go to bed hungry. I did make sure I brought all three birth certificates. That Rebecca and her veteran husband both lost their jobs during the pandemic. With three young kids at home, Rebecca relies on St. John's Bread and Life to make Thanksgiving special. It's the best feeling in the world. To be able to make a meal, knowing you came here, and my kid, you know, and, and put it down in front of my family, and my kids look at me, thank you so, I mean, just the look in their eyes. This Thanksgiving, the pandemic isn't stopping St. John's Bread and Life from showing people they still care. 6,000 is the number of people they'll feed and the number of reasons to have hope. Thank you. Happy Thanksgiving to you. In Bedford-Stuyvesant, Jessica Easthope, Currents News. If you're watching Currents News on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button and click on the bell to get updates to all of our newest content because we are putting your faith in the news.